what a year what is going on youtube it's your boy dollar mike back at again with another video this will be the first portfolio update of the year of 2022 i'm excited for this year i plan on investing even more money into my robin hood portfolio and my other portfolios as well but you guys already know the deal if you don't know me i pretty much make personal finance videos here on youtube so if you're interested in stuff like that make sure you hit that like and subscribe button in today's video of course we're going to be talking about my robin hood portfolio i'm going to go over every single stock in that robin hood portfolio not in too much detail but just you know show you guys what i think about it where we're going to go with that and like i said before i'm going to be investing even more money into robin hood this year so it should be very fun either way if you guys haven't seen my channel before i've made tons of portfolio update videos going over the previous year and somewhat of 2020 because that's when i actually started my investment journey so if you're interested and that stuff definitely go and check out those previous videos i made a lot of money in 2020 i made more money in 2021 and we're moving on over into 2022 now this is crazy stuff last year 2021 was the first time i invested in the year fully so this should be fun either way i'm not gonna waste any more time i'm gonna jump right into my robin hood portfolio and we're gonna get started so let's go right now <laughs> Got the classic robin hood app right here let's open that on up face id and we are in currently my robin hood portfolio is sitting at thirty six thousand sixty three dollars and six cents of course the market's still moving because the market's open right now today i am down a whopping sixteen dollars for the week i'm down about eighty eight dollars for the month i'm down about three hundred and thirty seven dollars the past three months i'm up about twenty three hundred dollars roughly seven percent for the past year as you can see i'm up about six hundred and twenty three dollars and the all-time chart i'm up nearly ten thousand dollars right now nine thousand five hundred sixty five dollars and 87 cents it changes obviously markets open you guys know the deal but as i mentioned in my previous video if you guys haven't seen my previous video if we go back to the year view you guys can see i'm only up about 1.75 percent for the year so you might think well mike i mean you've been making a lot of money this year so why doesn't it show more and the reason for that is because i lost a lot of money playing a lot of options this year as well i made a lot of money this year but of course as I mentioned in my previous 2022 investment plans video, make sure you check that video out. I lost a lot of money playing options and stuff like that. I lost a couple thousand dollars. I would say around, at most around three or four thousand dollars in options and that pretty much is all my gains there either way you guys already know i'm changing my investment strategy when it comes into 2022 i mentioned it in that previous video and if we go look at my other portfolios i don't have them right here but i'll probably put a screenshot or something up acorns i believe were up over 13 percent on the year and then with my m1 finance portfolio we're up over 40 percent on the year on that one so just the robin hood portfolio in particular i take a lot more risk with this portfolio so i'm okay with losing more money with it that's just how it goes but either way let's not waste any more time let's jump right into every single stock and one option in the portfolio right now so if we scroll down a little bit you can see my buying power and if you guys didn't know real quick last thing this is a dividend and growth portfolio so i'll still be doing some options i talked about in the previous video just check out the video out and you'll be all good to go but this is a dividend and growth portfolio so dividend stocks and growth stocks now let's begin <laughs> either way buying power right now is sitting at eighteen hundred dollars i actually plan on putting even more money in in 2022 i might actually drop another two thousand dollars in sometime in january so be be locked in for that video is what i'm saying if i do end up doing that i think i'm going to do that though december january or february i'll be dropping a couple thousand into the market on top of what i have here past that though uh we had the first option on the list and the only option in my portfolio which is a nokia call for four dollars obviously nokia is above four dollars right now we can go ahead and check it out nokia is sitting at 623 right now overall overall i've already doubled my money with this option overall up about 226 dollars i plan on holding it probably to around middle of this year and then I'll probably let it go or i might exercise it i haven't decided just yet but we'll go we'll go into that when we actually decide to sell that call or sell that option or go ahead and do the exercise to get the share so i'll decide that when the time comes but for right now that's what it is it's going to sell my portfolio now let's get into it the first stock on the list is of course nintendo I actually did plan on selling Nintendo, but looking at it from a metaverse point of view, I might actually plan on buying more shares. So that's what I'm going to do. Not today, but I do plan on buying more shares in 2022. And Nintendo is sitting at 58.47 a share right now. I have about five shares of Nintendo, and I'm overall up about 15% or 40 bucks. Nothing crazy there, but that's something I mentioned in that video. I want to focus on buying more shares of what I actually like versus not having enough shares so i don't really get enough gain either way let's go on over to the next stock the next stock is ticker symbol aapl you guys know the deal it's apple currently apple is sitting at 178 a share right now overall i have about 11.6 shares overall up about 
40% or roughly $600. Definitely be buying more Apple. You guys know the deal. Past Apple, we got Microsoft sitting at 337.44 a share right now. I have about three shares of Microsoft overall up also about 40%. Great stuff there. Roughly $300. Of course, I'm going to be buying more Microsoft. It's it's a it's a golden stock to me. Past Microsoft, we have ticker symbol DGRO. I plan on investing a lot of money into this particular ETF. This is a dividend and growth ETF, so I'll be putting a lot of money into this. Overall, I want this to be about 15% of my portfolio, 15 to 20% of my portfolio in 2022 and beyond. Right now, it's sitting at 55.75 a share right now. This covers a lot of different stocks. I have about 34 shares, overall up about 6% or $118. Right now, it's about 5% of my portfolio. If you want to see some of the stocks that actually holds, I can show you right here. Basically, it's about 21% into financial services stocks, about 18% into the technology stocks. 17% to healthcare, but if we go and click on the top 10 holdings, we can see what they held. So they got about 3% of 3% of the money that you invest into this ETF would put your money into Microsoft. About another 3% would go to Pfizer. Apple is about 2.8%. You guys get the deal. And of course, you can go online and see all the holdings they have. But like I said before, this is a dividend and growth ETF stock. This is a dividend. My Robinhood portfolio is a dividend and growth portfolio. And occasionally, I'll do options as well. So it makes perfect sense for me to be invested in this and also collect a solid dividend. I believe their dividend is around 2%. Yep, all good stuff there. So I'll be investing a lot more money into this. Just letting you guys know for sure. But you'll see it on the channel, of course. Everything's transparent here. If you don't know, you know now. Past DGRO, we have ticker symbol BETZ. Another one I think is a great buy right now. Honestly, the whole sports betting industry, this is what this is for. It's an ETF for the sports betting industry. Honestly, the whole sports betting industry to me is definitely a multi-million dollar, billion dollar industry. And I'll be buying more shares. It's sitting at 29 or 24.92 right now. I have about 24 shares, overall up about 5%. It's a great time to buy some shares, and I'll be buying more very, very soon. Um, past that, though, we got ticker symbol QILD. This won't be on the portfolio too long, but this does provide me with some nice passive income every single month that I can go and put into any other stock that I want to put into. Right now, I made a video talking about this as well. It'll be linked up there. But right now, it's sitting at 22, 23 a share right now. It doesn't move too much. I have about 72 shares overall down about 1.27%. But we're not here for the gains or the losses on this stock. We're here for the dividends. So let's scroll all the way down and let's check out my dividends on QYLD real quick. You guys can see $15, $10, $10, $10, $11, $6, $5, $4, $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10, $11, $12, $13, $14, $15, $16, $17, $18, $19, $20, $21, $22, $23, $24, $25, $26, $27, $28, $29, $30, $31, $32, $33, $34, $35, $36, $37, $38, $39, $40, $41, $42, $43, $44, $45, $46, $47, $48, $49, $50, $51, $52, $53, $54, $55, $56, $57, $58, $59, $60, $61, $62, $63, $64, $65, $66, $67, $68, $69, $70, $71, $72, $73, $74, $75, $76, $77, $78, $79, $80, $90, $91, $92, $93, $94, $95, $96, $97, $98, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, If you guys have seen my videos before, they own the actual building. Then, of course, they pay realty income, rent, or lease money, I guess you could say, every single month. Then we get paid every single month in the form of a dividend. Right now, I have about 11 shares of realty income. Overall, up about 22%. We'll be buying more. Past realty income, we got ticker symbol MPW. Stands for Medical Properties Trust. They own the same thing. Different type of real estate, though. They actually own a whole bunch of hospitals and healthcare centers. The same type of thing. We pretty much get a dividend income from this as well. This is not every single month. I believe this is every quarter right now it's sitting at 23 63 a share right now i am definitely long term on this stock like most of the stocks in my portfolio and we scroll down i have about 25 shares a dividend actually coming in on january 13th so cool stuff there 25 shares overall up about 21 percent or 106 dollars cool stuff past M, uh, mpw what do we got we got ticker symbol stag even more real estate here stag industrial pretty much covers real estate when it comes to warehouses so they own a whole bunch of different warehouses they have a whole bunch of different customers for those warehouses like amazon that's actually one of their largest customers and of course we receive dividend income from this as well if i scroll down on stag i'm still establishing my position on stag i have about 12 and a half shares right now overall up about 12 percent and i definitely would be buying more no question with stag i love this for a long-term investment these warehouses aren't going anywhere and all these huge companies need these warehouses to actually function to actually do their job unless you know you're amazon you can go and just build your own warehouse for fun because they just got so much money but past that the rest of these companies actually need to buy these am these uh, warehouses you know from stag or another provider either way past stag what do we got we got ticker symbol ba or boeing sitting at 201.61 a share right now i bought boeing when i first started my portfolio overall i'm up about 100 percent on boeing plan on holding it for some time i don't plan on selling it anytime soon 
not much to say about it i've had these five shares since i started my portfolio don't plan on selling it to at least maybe 400 dollars a share maybe more than that boeing airbus you make your choice personally up to you past that though we got ticker symbol ko or coke sitting at 59.24 a share right now coke is of course one of those solid long-term dividend payers they might not be the best when it comes to making money in the stock market but of course if you have a lot of shares and you overall just grow your portfolio i think it's just naturally just good to have a coke stock in your portfolio coke pepsi you know make your choice maybe both completely up to you either way they own of course a whole bunch of different drink brands i have about 12 and a half shares overall up about 24 percent or 143 dollars right now past coke though we got ticker symbol procter and gamble another golden stock this is a household name like a couple of other stocks in here this is a household name sitting at 163.45 a share right now of course they have tons of different products i talked about them in previous past videos and of course i'll talk about procter and gamble even more in the future i have about five shares overall up about 24 percent roughly 157 dollars to be exact in those gains i'll be buying more of course you guys know the deal past that we got ally financial or ally bank pretty much a regular bank but uh, only online. It's not like a Bank of America or a Chase. They're all online. Ally Financial right now is sitting at 47.65 a share right now. If we scroll down, I have about 12.3 shares. Overall, up about 22% or $108. Past that, we got J.P. Morgan Chase, another bank. I try to put these in the all the same section, I guess you could say. But J.P. Morgan, 158.44 a share right now. We scroll down 6.05 shares. Overall, up about 11% or roughly or 11, uh, nearly 12% now um a hundred dollars in total gain or total return right now so good stuff there you guys know the deal i'll be keeping these stocks for a long time and i'm a huge chase customer past chase though we can see right here we have exxon mobile xom is uh sitting at 61.26 a share right now i have about 20 shares I need to buy more i need to buy more of everything to be completely honest because i have a lot of positions but i talked about that in that previous video so make sure you check that video out right now though um, overall up about 32 percent or 304 dollars good stuff there when it comes to exxon mobile past exxon mobile we got kinder morgan another natural gas well exxon mobile is more of um more oil this one's more natural gas either way kinder morgan is sitting at 15.89 a share right now it's pretty pretty large position for me i definitely be buying more because i can get more right now on a dip um and long term i do see natural gas going somewhere in the u.s in the future they actually own the like the largest natural gas pipeline in the u.s so i think this is a solid investment long term we'll see how it plays out and they also pay a solid dividend around four or five percent so that's really great as well but i have about 50 shares of kinder morgan right now overall down about 8.5 percent one of the only stocks in my portfolio that's actually down right now i have a couple but it's not too many i'm overall down about 74 dollars let me check their dividend real quick dividend is sitting around six percent so that's really amazing so of course i'm collecting that solid dividend income and we can go check that out right here so let's see dividend income seven dollars the first time Thirteen dollars a second time, and that thirteen was for holding the fifty shares. So I should be getting around that, maybe fourteen or fifteen dollars next time I get another dividend payout. But definitely solid stuff for Kinder Morgan. I like them as a long-term investment for sure. Definitely do your research on them, of course, on every single stock in this portfolio because this is all for entertainment purposes only. You don't have to buy what I buy, and I don't fully recommend you do that anyway. Of course, always do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor, but you already knew that. Either way, let's go on over to the next stock. The next stock is ticker symbol EMR or Emerson, another great solid stock long-term, sitting at $93 right now a share. I have about five shares, overall up about 32% or $116. Past that, though, we got Disney. Oh man, oh man, we we got some we gotta talk about Disney. We've talked about Disney before in the past if you haven't seen my videos, but Nancy Pelosi actually just bought I think like um half a million half a million to a million shares or um pretty much call options for Disney's. So pretty much she's betting that the stock price is gonna go up maybe in the short term, maybe in the maybe in a couple years out. But regardless, I've been telling you guys about Disney all year. It's been dropping all year because it had no business being around two hundred a share where it was before. But either way I'm going to continue to buy Disney. I love Disney long term for everything they already do. And I also love them for this whole metaverse idea that I have in my mind. And I also explained in my metaverse stock video. So definitely make sure you check that metaverse stock video out. It's a great video. I go over tons of different metaverse stocks that I'll be buying into that I'm already actually, that I already actually bought into now. They're all actually on my M1 finance portfolio. I actually already invested into them now. So yeah, either way. Disney sitting at 154.77 a share right now. I definitely will be buying more. No questions asked with Disney. Overall, I have about 3.12 shares and I'm up about 5% with Disney. I also have a recurring buy on Disney for about $9 every single month. So pretty much every single time I buy, um, pay for my Disney Plus membership, another nine will go to this 
Disney stock as well. So cool stuff, whatever. Let's move on over to the next one, which is ticker symbol LOW or Lowe's sitting at 258.70 a share right now. It seems like the market is dropping right now, right before market close. The market should be closed in about three minutes. So we'll see how this plays out. But yeah, Lowe's pretty much, Lowe's Home Depot, it doesn't really matter. They're both really great um, options when it comes to investing into I guess home improvement stores. I think they're both fine. I don't really have any issue with either one. I simply pick no lows, uh, sitting at 5.31 shares overall up about 47% or $442. Great stuff on lows. Past lows though, we got ticker symbol WBA, Walgreens sitting at 52.17 or 52.18 a share right now. It's going back on up. I have about 20 shares of Walgreens overall up about 20%, uh, $176 to be exact. And like I said before, most, most if not all these stocks in my portfolio our dividend income as well so i'm getting these gains plus the dividends we love it around here we love the dividends around here and if you guys haven't seen my dividend video where i explain how to set up your own dividend portfolio step by step from zero to me now or at thirty six thousand. definitely check that out be linked right up there either way next one on the list is tesla of course you guys know i'm a big fan of tesla if you don't know you know now i'm a huge fan of tesla and it's definitely one of my stock picks for 2022 so if you guys haven't seen that video because it hasn't dropped yet then definitely know that i'll be buying a lot more tesla stock in 2022 and definitely know that tesla will be in that particular video it should be out next week either way uh tesla is sitting at 1056 a share right now it's overall moving is going down in the down position i have about 4.65 shares overall up about 95 percent or 2400 dollars with tesla stock on top of that i've made money from tesla options and all that kind of good stuff you guys know the deal either way i have a lot of recurring buy on tesla as well ten dollars every single week will go to tesla stock no matter what the price is and we'll just keep moving on over past that the next one on the list is ticker symbol c o i n or coin this stands for coinbase 252.50 a share right now I have about four shares on coinbase overall down about seven percent coinbase also giving you guys a sneak peek right here coinbase is also another one of my top stock picks for 2022 Either way, I'll be buying a lot more Coinbase shares. So just letting you guys know, it's a great time for me to buy because I'm down with it. So I can overall average down. That'd be great. Um, past that, though, not too much else to say about Coinbase. I'll talk about it more in my top stock picks for 2022 video, like I said before, next week. Past that, though, we got Verizon, ticker symbol VZ, sitting at 5197, 5196 now. A share right now. Overall, if we scroll down, I have about 18 shares of Verizon overall down about five percent Verizon I actually got a lot of Verizon shares after I sold all my AT&T shares earlier this year because AT&T had that whole debacle where they were cutting their dividend by about 50 percent so I was looking for another communications like stock that would still pay me a solid dividend and Verizon is just that either way we scroll down on Verizon's dividend yield it's about four maybe five percent I usually don't go off of um Robin Hood's uh, yield numbers only because they don't they're not always accurate so i always check online just double check but right here it says 4.83 percent for the dividend yield so good stuff there if that is the dividend yield if not it's somewhere in that ballpark it's not that far off regardless have about um i said i had about 18 shares all kind of good stuff i'll be buying more verizon no question especially since i'm down with it right now but yeah it's just another one of those dividend stocks i just have on here that doesn't do too much but it still makes me solid passive income so we love to see it and they have been pretty consistent with it so far Past Verizon, though, we have ticker symbol AVPT. This is another reason my portfolio is down for the year on top of those option plays that I messed up on. Um, this one right now is sitting at 629 a share right now. I love this company. I'll be investing in the company for, a long, for the long term. I think they're great. But sadly, just because I like it and just because I think the numbers are good and everything like that doesn't mean it's doing well. And it's not. Overall, we can see I have 225 shares. I'm down 52% or roughly $1,500 with AvPoint. So I'll talk about AvPoint more in the future. Of course, I'm not selling anything. I have about 4% of it as my portfolio diversity. So we'll see how everything plays out. But AvPoint, hopefully we can get a good look in AvPoint 2022. Hopefully we can get around $14, $15 a share. That's what I'm expecting. Maybe more than that. I would love for it to just run really to like 20, 30 a share, but you know, we'll we'll see what happens either way. But yeah, there you guys go with ad point. Past ad point though, we have Hood. I don't actually plan on keeping this in my portfolio anymore, to be completely honest. Robin Hood Markets sitting at 1775 a share right now. I don't actually have any Robin Hood. Only have those five shares that I originally bought when it IPO'd pretty much, and I never bought since. So luckily I didn't put a lot more money into this because it's been going way down. And I, can you really blame them? It really depends. If you guys know the history of what happened with Robin Hood, February, March of this year or past past year, then you guys would know probably why a lot of people had more of a hatred for Robin Hood, the app, 
it's not really the app it's really honestly the leadership at the company but that's not going to change anytime soon i highly doubt it considering that pretty much well they're private but i just don't think it's going to change anytime soon regardless though I won't be buying any more Robinhood shares right now. It's just not in a position where I see it going up in the short term. So if anything changes, I'll let you guys know, of course, on the channel in some type of form and I'll be buying shares. But for right now, not buying any shares of Robinhood. So it's just on the portfolio. I just didn't want to sell it just yet because I just didn't want to take a 50% loss. But I mean, it's it's 100 bucks. It's not that big a deal. So we'll see. I could sell it, but I could at least get back to the even maybe and then maybe sell it. We'll see what happens. Um, past Robinhood though, we got Main Street Capital sitting at 44.86 a share right now. We scrolled down, that's about 13.36 shares. Overall, up about 31% or $144. Past Main Street Capital, we got Capital Southwest sitting at 25.28 a share right now. No, this is this is not the airline, so it's not the airline. I did invest in Southwest before though, but we got two dividend coming in actually today, and I have about 21 uh, 21 shares. Overall, up about 8% and $42. They pay a, not, a solid dividend and good stuff there. Nothing crazy. But I see you already saw the next stock. Next stock is uh, Tigger Symbol, PSEC or Prospect Capital. They also pay me a nice dividend. I don't invest in this stock anymore. They just pay me a consistent dividend every single month. If they ever cut it, then I'll probably go ahead and sell the stock. But they haven't cut it so far, so I'm not mad. On top of that, I got some solid gains. Just sitting at $8.41 a share right now. Overall, I have a dividend coming in on January 20th. And I have about 119 shares of prospect capital or psec overall i'm up about 73 percent or 423 dollars so cool stuff um i might sell it we'll see probably not though like i said before i mainly just use this as a dividend income driver for the portfolio nothing wrong there and of course i got some solid gains from it so i'm not mad with just holding it past prospect capital we have clorox sitting at 174.36 a share right now you guys know clorox bleach you know the cleaning supplies all that kind of good stuff have about four shares of clorox overall up about seven percent or 48 dollars Nothing much else to say about it right here, but yeah, that's the portfolio. And we got another one. We got ticker symbol BGS to uh, 3073 a share right now. We scroll down. I have about 52 shares of BGS. They provide me with solid dividend income often pretty much every single quarter. No problems there. I'm up about 4.55% or roughly $70 with BGS. And we're almost coming up on the end. The last one, I believe, is Vale. Vale is sitting at $14.09 a share right now. I didn't get a chance to talk about Vale previously because I got sick and everything like that. But I do plan on talking about Vale in 2022. Overall, they pretty much, uh, they're pretty much a miner, pretty much. They mine a whole bunch of different, you know, minerals, gold, silver, not gold, but silver, all that kind of stuff. They mine, I think, iron. I think their biggest miner is iron, I believe. But overall, I'll talk about Vale more in 2022. But if you want to, you know, do your own research on them, go ahead and do just that. Overall, they pay a solid, crazy dividend. Don't know how they pay it, but we'll see if it's actually paid out. They pay a crazy dividend of like a 20% dividend yield. And you guys, I mean, you guys know, I'm not big into the whole dividend yield trap thing. I don't do that. But... If they do pay it out, that's cool. If they don't, I'm still getting a solid gain right now. I'm overall up about 20%. And I still think they have room to go even further in 2022. So we'll see how things play out. I think they only pay the dividend out like once or twice a year. So we'll see. In 2022, we'll see. Either way, though, there is this portfolio, I believe. Yes, it is. I have one more position in the portfolio, and it is a cryptocurrency, which we'll see if it gets moved off of uh, Robinhood in 2022. And that is dogecoin dogecoin right now is sitting at about 16 roughly 17 cents i have about 8,000 dogecoin and i'm overall up about 968 percent or about 1200 dollars um pretty much that's it i'm not buying any more dogecoin right now i told myself i wouldn't buy any more for the time being and i haven't overall though robin hood wallets or the robin hood crypto wallet should be releasing this month in january that's what that's what we're looking like should be releasing this month so it'll be exciting to see if i can get my dogecoin off of my robin hood portfolio i simply it's nothing wrong with dogecoin love it um i'll be invested into it i just don't want it on my robin hood portfolio to impact the portfolio it's just that simple like if it goes up goes down i don't want it to impact the portfolio i want to focus on this being dividend and growth stocks with options every now and then and that's pretty much it so there you guys go that is the full portfolio right now um and that that's it that's it. And we just dropped below 35,000. So it doesn't, no, no big deal. You can't look at this stuff in the daily or the weekly or the monthly or the three months. Honestly, we're not looking at the yearly and just long term. I don't really care, to be completely honest. So I'll be adding more money into the portfolio either January this month or February next month. And of course, buying more stocks as well. And you guys want to stay tuned, of course, because I'll be dropping my stock picks for 2022. 
and I'm pretty excited with that. So you already know about two or three of them already. I'm only going to have six of them this year, and I'll probably split it up into two different videos. So definitely stay tuned. It should be releasing sometime next week, if not in a couple of days by the time you're watching this video, or if not already out by the time you're watching this video. So either way, thank you guys so much for an amazing 2021. Thank you for all the channel growth and all that kind of good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.